Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a little crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got um LA OG, um, OG Crip member, Nipsey Hustle, big homie, um, you know, a gang activist leader, whatever you want to call it, man. Um, Nipsey Hustle, big homie, big you on the roster, man. And pretty much, man, he had some things to say about the PNB rock situation. It said how he felt. Now, before we get into the little crazy video, y'all know my little routine, man. Just hit that like button and smash that notification bell so I keep y'all updated on the situation. And y'all can be notified anytime I drop a video in general, bro. Y'all got me? All right. Bam. Now, as I just said, y'all, we got um Big U on the roster, and he has some things to say about the um, PNB Rock situation. Uh, if y'all been living up on the Rock PNB, lost his life while in Roscoe um, a couple days ago in Los Angeles. And you know, it's been trending all over social media as people were blaming his girl. And just, it's been a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people pointing finger this and that, but he has some things to say. And I don't want to talk your head off because the next clip is very long. Um, I just want to say shout out to Intel Hip Hop for this clip because that's the only person that literally had it. Um, but I really think y'all should watch this, bro, because he literally is telling y'all the truth. Like how everybody trying to make something like LA just so bad and trying to point the fingers at the girl when in reality he tell you what it is man but y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section and let me know what y'all think man rest in power PNP rock yes sir yeah that's a terrible thing what happened to that youngster PNP rock I just want to send my condolence to the family I know what it feel like to lose a a father, you know what I mean? I see a kid as losing a father. I still got my father, but you know what I mean? We live in some senseless times right now. People devalue life. Snoop Football League. Yep, I got the 10 you. That's what I've been doing, football. Y'all see my son out there tearing it up. He said I'm taking I always take the kids to Disneyland. I took the kids in, I already took the kids in Magic Mountain. We did that before the season. So we usually do that with our banquet. We had a four-day banquet. We went to Magic Mountain, went to Knoxbury Farm. We had a 50s banquet for the kids. And then, um, what else we did? Yeah, we got to do this football thing. It's wicked and every yeah. I mean, y'all know how it go. Y'all know how it go. I didn't call you. I know I forgot to call you. I'm gonna call you back. But no, y'all know how I go, man. I mean, it really, it really ain't safe for nobody nowhere. Really, to be honest, with it ain't you. really no hood thing. It ain't no, it ain't no cripple blood thing. It's, it's about, it's about greed. It ain't no, you know what I mean? It's about greed. It's about knowing where you're going, knowing who you're dealing with. If all of us could tell you when something was gonna happen or when something not gonna happen, when nothing happened to nobody. Let's just be honest. Don't none of us know when something's gonna happen. Not one of us can tell the other person, hey, if you go over there, you're gonna die, you're gonna this. Nobody can tell nobody. We can only just try to give people good advice. And then there's always repercussions that come with the things that happen. You know what I mean? I read something where somebody said the young lady put the location. I don't think that had nothing to do with it. Probably did, but I don't think it had nothing to do with it. Because that's just a rough area where that happened to that young brother. It's just a rough area, man. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, 
that happened to him, it happened to me. It could happen to any of us, you know what I mean? Like, he out with his girl. That's, that's the crazy thing, he was out with his woman. Like he's supposed to. Like every man should be able to go out with their woman and their kids. You know what I mean? That's just not how it is, some places. And it hurts. It hurts because it's the same for me. Ain't no different for me and nobody else. In LA, in New York, in Miami, it's the same way. You know what I mean? When do you get to put you know, when do you get to put your you know your guards down? He had no business in South Central. Man, he had every business in South Central. He had the business to be there wherever he was. The man was going to get something to eat with his woman. He's supposed to be where he, anywhere he want to go. He ain't violate nobody. He ain't, don't look like he was going to get into it with nobody. He was with his woman. He had a right to be everywhere, in my opinion. But I think it's about being smart, though. Because even if I was in that area, I'm going to be careful going that way. I'm going to be careful going east. If you asked me about that chicken, that Roscoe's chicken and waffle, I would have told him, no, don't go to that one. It's a lot of Roscoe's. You want to go get that food. But as a man and a young black man with his, with his, um, out with his girl, you should be able to go. I mean, you know, it's just about, I don't know, I'm, I'm so sick of it. It's just, but you know, I grew up in it. I did it. I hunted. I did the same. The youngsters is doing, you know what I mean? And we did stupid stuff and... Just try to do your part to change what you did when you was young and try to do something different. But now nah, I don't even want to say the word. I don't want to quote nothing, checking in or nothing, because I don't think it's appropriate right now to be trying to use that where somebody lost their father and a son and an and a uncle and a cousin. That's appropriate because I wouldn't want nobody saying that. If that was happening to me, some of them but the reality of the situation is is that somebody lost their life and if it was over a robbery if somebody goes to jail for it the time that you're gonna get is not going to amount to nowhere near that goddamn jury you know what I'm saying that's not going nowhere near it and when you when you sitting in that, when you sitting there and you fighting that case, and that lawyer tell you to fight your case, they need a hundred bands. Uh, you realize you wouldn't even got a hundred bands for whatever jury you got. That's when that's that's when it becomes real to you. That's when it becomes real. It becomes real when that math happened, and that lawyer tell you, tell your parents or your family or your friends, oh no, we need. We need 30, 40 bands to fight this case. 50, no less than 50 probably. So that means if you don't got the money, you're going to get a, a, a court appointed lawyer. You creep. So now you're looking for a deal. Robbery. Could be the penalty. And then, so it's always LA. No, it ain't always LA. It's everywhere, man. I don't know why y'all think it's always LA. It's just, it's more sun in LA. And there's more rappers and entertainers move to LA. So that's why I look like it's always LA. But it ain't only LA now. I don't know if y'all think. There's people getting flipped everywhere. There's people getting flipped everywhere. Chicago just. You know what I mean? When I was in Chicago this whole weekend, I went to my son game. I was with my nephew now and my little cousins. And I moved with respect. I respect the city. 
You know what I mean? I call my nephew them, and we go out. <laughs> they they get the right preparations for us to move how we move. I go where they say we going. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not. And I was, I was, I was, I, you know, I could have went a lot of places, but I'm like, man, look, where are we going? You know what I mean? But I'm going to move with the respect to respect the land. You know what I mean? But it ain't no just L.A. L.A. ain't the only place this, this stuff is going down because L.A. ain't the only place that got people that, that feel like they want to take it from somebody else. I'm telling you, I used to live like that. You know what I mean? That's how I made, I mean, that's how I made my mind was messed up like that. You know what I mean? And when I say my mind was messed up like that, I mean my mind was messed up like that. You know what I mean? So, so we're not. LA ain't the only place it happens. Cause, cause in fact, there are gangsters and hoosters and robbers and jackers dealing everywhere. And, and dudes carrying guns and girls carrying guns, carrying guns everywhere. You know what I mean? So no, it ain't not just LA.